down I used to be the kid that no one cared about That's why you have to keep screaming till they hear you out oh. Written in the stars, that's a tiny tempa, and Eric Turner helping out with that. Uh, music I don't uh, really know and I've never heard before, but actually, uh, and of course, like always, or like frequently, digging for music for these uh, these particular uh, videos, sometimes I find songs that I'm like, wow, wouldn't even be something I'd typically listen to. So, got another one coming out at the end that's kind of sort of similar too, same genre, if you will. Key to imagining, uh, imagining properly, or talking properly. <laughs> A um, couple pointers, couple real quick ones. I don't know. We'll see what quick is. Uh, good ones, though. So please uh, maybe hear me out if you got the, you know, 5, 10 minutes or 20, well, I don't know, however long I talk. We'll get to it. A couple things. One, I'm noticing a little pattern with some people. Might not be all of you, but this is a good pointer. We want to make sure that we are manifesting something like bigger. I did a video not long ago, I think in the one of the, th the thumbnail, it says huger on the bottom, which no one really commented on the fact that that's not really a proper word, but that was why I used it. So yes, huger. You got to go big with it. You need to make it more, uh, more a little crazy. And the, the example I gave is someone I was in the comments today and I made a few comments with, and I'm not going to say her name, but hopefully she's okay with this because it was a great example. And it was someone that's missing their specific person, right? They're, they're missing them, period. They would like to get back together, obviously, and they miss them very much, right? So what they were trying to manifest was getting their other person to miss them. And when you think about it, it makes total sense, right? You're asking for where you're at right now. It's what many of us do in relationships in general. It's how a lot of us show love for that matter. We show each other love the way we want it back, not necessarily the way the person wants to receive it. It's kind of funny how we are because most of the time a lot of us are very selfish in relationships and don't realize that the other person's frequently giving us cues, right? They're letting us know what they want and we're like, yes, but I'm telling you what I want. And then you just mash each other in a not a good way and you know, it doesn't work out. So again, I get it. It happens in a lot of cases, but many of us really need to kind of be a little more aware. One, we're conscious creating, we're creating this world for ourselves. So we need to take more ownership of it. So my point to her was, all right, well, that's great. And I asked her the question. I said, well, why, why do you want him to miss you? Why, what's the point of manifesting that? Because she was asking me how to make it happen, right? So I'm like, all right, why do you want to manifest this person missing you? And so she explained to me, and basically what it came down to is, like, she's, like I said, I miss this person. I love them. I want to be with them. And, uh, and so I, that's the, I figure if he's missing me, there's no way that he can stay away from me. So again, we're trying to micromanage the manifestation. We're trying to fill in the dots for them. We're trying to say, all right, so if we're going to get back together, all right, the first thing that needs to happen is he's going to probably have to stub his toe. Ah! Oh, and then every time he does that, he's like, Ole, blah, blah, blah. And then he thinks about me because that was the last thing he said. And then he's like, oh, but now he's thinking about me. Like, you don't need to worry about all that. So as I told her, I go manifest what you would like. So manifest him coming back to you, him telling you how much I miss you and how much I look forward to our date, him coming back, uh, him, you waking up with him, uh, you know, and I got into, you know, family and all blah, 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 right? Make it bigger. Make it what you're actually wanting to experience, not the little minutia that's in between. That stuff's going to happen however it needs to. Don't worry about trying to make someone feel a certain way. Who cares about that? You're micromanaging it. Stop. What do you want to experience? That is what you manifest. Now, why I bring this up and why all this is germane going into this, again, go big. Go big or go home, right? The big key to imagining properly, to manifesting easier. A lot of us, sometimes when we do the imaginal work, 
we see it as a scene. I've been guilty of this before because imagining is kind of weird for me too. Again, I'm not visual. I can hear things. I got I can have conversations in my head that are just like amazing, and I can you know I can hear the the emotion in someone's voice. Like that part, ah, got it nailed. But the imagining thing has always been a little bit of a challenge for me. Even way back when when I was you know and every when I was even when I was vegetarian and eating as healthy as I could possibly and floating on the fairy's wings, you know whatever like crazy stuff. And I still yeah had a harder time doing it. So the way you kind of, a lot of us, is we sort of imagine it as a scene. We imagine it from a distance. We see them, right? But we're not imagining them like, what would it be like in the imagination when you're like kissing them, right? When your face is coming up to them and you do that little turn, right? So you don't like butt noses, right? It's very fun. Or you turn the other way and freak everyone out, right? Because everyone has that favorite direction, right? But imagine that like... And then the eyes and what you're seeing when you're getting close or just looking in their eyes as you're holding or what it would feel like to wrap your arms around them. But be from the vantage point of like where you are in real life. So if you're hugging someone in real life, it's like your face is in their hair. So that's your viewpoint from your perspective, right? Or your face is in their neck or wherever, right? I'm imagining as a guy like hugging the girl. And you're not like seeing you hugging you're not seeing the two of you hugging you don't see that you see what it would be like if you were actually hugging that individual if you were actually sleeping with that individual what's your perspective is your like face right on their back or is it the other way around and they've got their arms wrapped around you and you've got your hands like clasped over theirs what's that perspective you can look down and see their hands in your imagination right that is how you imagine you imagine from the actual location like you're the participant you are in the driver's seat it's your consciousness your reality it's not a scene it's not something you're imagining like oh i see him and i see me and we're dancing together no that's a story if you want to imagine dancing with him imagine the holding and the way you'd have your arms around them and how you could possibly be sweating and nervous because people are watching and you're doing the different steps, right? You're imagining it from that vantage point, what your feet are doing so you don't step on each other, unless you're a really good dancer and then you don't worry about things like that. But for people that aren't good dancers, you just go out there and have a few cocktails and then go for it and see what happens. Um, you know, some of us just try to move to the music. That's a, that's like, if I can do that and not look like, bah, doo, 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 you know, like then I'm all right. All right. As long as I look like I'm having a seizure in front of other people. So the imaginal process kind of really super important for, and this is what Goddard talks about anyway, but from the imagining and from the creating it. And this has always been the case. It was like when I learned it, when I was very young, the way it worked for me. And I was telling my dad this not long ago, cause he was actually the one that taught me this. He doesn't believe any of this junk, by the way, he honestly kind of thinks some of the stuff I talk about is crazy. Right. And it's cool. I love my dad. He loves me. I know that it's no big deal. He just doesn't see things this way, but he's the one that taught me this. <laughs> and I was talking to him about it the other day. He's like, yeah, it totally works. So there you go. And he does stuff that's similar. He just doesn't realize that's what he's doing, right? Or he doesn't think it's that, you know? So whatever. It doesn't matter. But he taught me in baseball. It was when I was playing Little League. And he would say, imagine getting hits. Imagine walking up to the plate and swinging and hitting the ball. And for me, it was always I could see the pitcher winding up throwing, and it was me swinging crack. And it was my vantage point as the ball went off, right? Because I got in front of it. Or it went off. Or it went right through second base, right? In between shortstop and second. If you don't know baseball, sorry, who cares? Just, ah, it doesn't matter. Wah, 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 wah. It doesn't really matter. But again, I was imagining from the vantage point, And that's what he taught me. And every time I did that, I had far more success in the game. And I was a very good hitter. That was one of the things I was really strong at in baseball. I mean, fielding I was good too. But it, I don't know. It was good in baseball. It was fun. I just didn't like playing it nearly as much as football or soccer, like most of you would call it. Um, I loved soccer. Soccer was, oh my God, it was a great sport. Anyway, missed that. Anyway, that, that's so not, why'd you get me off talking? It's your fault. Anyway, point is manifesting huge. Go big. Come on, make it something that's worthwhile. Make it something you can sink your teeth into. Don't try to manifest someone's feelings. Don't try to manifest someone driving by your house and looking at you. You know, whatever. Don't imagine something silly. If you want to be together, imagine being together. 
Screw all this little stuff. It's not not even trying to manage signs. And if you're looking at it like, well, I'm just trying to do the easy part because it's too hard to get us together. And so I'm trying to do it this way. No, you're not you're not doing yourself any favors because you're trying to just imagine this scenario. And this scenario out of sequence from you getting back together, if all you're trying to do is imagine this little island, well, yeah, you might imagine that, but that might not actually get you to where you're trying to go it might not work quite how you want it and i've done this mistake many a time where i've asked for something and the universe gives it and i'm like yeah i wasn't very specific was i they gave me exactly what i asked for not and i wasn't being specific i was being very random so it was like all right here's here's person that's totally into me or here's x or here's y like you know it it doesn't matter you got to be specific what do you want what do you want to experience Imagine it from your vantage point in that location, right? So you're dancing with your dude, or you're dancing with your girl. Imagine like, where's your face relative to their hair? And they're, you know, imagine that's what in your imaginal scene, that's what things look like. Like you're like, here's his face and you're just all like up against it, right? Like, I mean, that's, that's how it looks. So that's what you should imagine your view. Your view is not the two of you dancing and looking all graceful like it's a movie. No. Because that's not what you'll create is scenes of that or a movie of that or something that will be just like that that will remind you of him. So, okay, yeah, you're watching this. That's not being in the play. That's not facing out to the audience and imagining it that way. That's actually looking up on stage with the lighting and the costumes. You're just watching the show at that point. So if you want to make it happen, you want to make it real, you want to get it to the place that you're trying to get it to, go bigger, because I think a lot of us are probably not thinking that way. We're trying to micromanage it. We're trying to do little pieces of it and hoping that piece leads down the road. No, go down the road. What are you trying to imagine? Being together? Imagine being together. Imagine going on dates. Imagine waking up next to each other. Imagine them walking down the aisle or you meeting wa- meeting them walk down the aisle and you watching them. Imagine it from that vantage point. Whatever you actually want is what you're going to manifest. With me too. I'm ma- I am happy with where I'm going in my life. I'm happy with the manifestation process. And the, and the journey I'm on and what's going on and all the stuff and how it's playing out. And I might even change my mind one day. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I just take it every day and I enjoy every moment and I react when the moment occurs. And if not, I don't try to think too much about all the possibilities of the what ifs, the but it could and it could and blah, blah, blah. Nah, I just try not to think about it. Try to stay focused on the things I'd like to experience, you know, traveling and you know, making this YouTube thing more successful, getting some voiceover work going on, uh, doing a good job in my normal, you know, job, uh, helping people. You know, like there's just certain things that I like to think about. Kind of fun, groovy, fun times, you know. So that's what I do. That is the trick. That is the key. And then you don't really worry about the specific, like manifesting your specific person because you got other things. You're fine. You're cool. You're content. And it becomes an easier thing. I just mentioned something to somebody uh, even recently The that we've got a show I will be doing soon because I've actually think I've kind of dialed in a couple pieces of this, uh, this imagining and, and how to let go. I hope you guys dug what we're talking about. A lot of the ways to really, truly get manifesting to happen is to get that imaginal sense kind of worked out a little better, get it a little bigger, do it from the actual location where you're at. And then everything will really fall into place and let it don't try to do the little thingies in between. Go to the where you're together. Be together. Manifest that. Don't worry about all the little, well, he's got to feel this way and all blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about it. It makes a huge difference when you try to go down that path and do it more from that direction. Hopefully this helps you guys. Uh, key to imagining properly. I'm telling you, this makes a huge difference in the big picture. All right. We're going out with a song by, uh, the, the song is called Hall of Fame. And the group, well, it's actually the script. And some rapper guy or whatever the heck name will... I am, which I thought was interesting because the I am thing. Stay in radio style. Be a master, don't wait for luck. Dedicate yourself and you go find yourself. Standing in the Hall of Fame.